My name is Sai Divine. Hello, guys. If this is your first time visiting the channel, welcome. I do appreciate your presence and your interest. Please understand my readings are a bit different than others, and I do use a variety of divination tools, a little bit beyond tarot. Um, I do offer readings occasionally during my live chats, but always at my sole discretion. So let's dive in. January 2021, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Let's dive right on in. See what's coming up for Aquarius for the month. January 2021. So let's start with a word and see what uh, tarot says from there. Okay, those are very interesting things to start with. I don't really know how that would, I mean, I know how it would apply to everyone. just what I see there. Okay. Um, let's uh, go on in there. Let's see what we get here. Four Aquarius. Wow. Three cards. That's very interesting. Bruja and water. That. Okay, two, four, and four. Very interesting. So I see a decision being made. A decision being made that involves more than you, Aquarius. Looks like someone's making an offer that uh, you might be able to refuse. Hmm. This is a question of safety. Someone's making a judgment call regarding what is safe and around the home. Let's clarify. Just out of my nosiness. I know you guys are done, Aquarius, and I can move on to the next one, but I, I want to be nosy right here, if you don't mind. Clarify double four. Mm. Four keeps coming back in elements of four. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Um, it looks like be if you saw this fell out over the home. So <sighs> this is somebody who is a bad advisor. Someone cold, manipulative. This is bad. And our cups are emotions, their relationships, sticky, gooey, icky feelings. Someone who is making a bad decision. And we have the Eight of Wands here. And this also comes out in reverse. So we have someone in a panic state, but it can also mean things or conditions going down. Hmm. Could be waiting, because if this were right side up, it could be things coming in very quickly. But these are energies going down. This is things that don't process quickly. It feels to me like selfish, greedy individuals making a choice 
we're doing something that impacts Aquarius. And Aquarius is making this choice here. Like, do I really want this offer? And it feels like there's more than one offer to be had, but it feels like the cup, like one of the cups. Okay, it's it's like one cup is almost a requirement, but there's an there's an there's unsettled dust. Lots of dust being kicked up because the offer involves the happiness of the home. People waiting to find out what's going to happen. So it's a judgment call regarding the truth in or or the truth or the selfishness of someone else. This can be someone just, you know, blocking a change coming along. This could be greedy people taking advantage over others. What is an outcome here? The outcome is nine of pentacles. Well, this is discipline, uh, self-reliance. It's stacking one's chips. Um, it's, I want, I, I feel the words, I just, they're at the tip of, not the tip of my tongue. But it's, it's almost like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. And there's a, there's a message coming through, a message that makes people go into a mode of, you know, uh, protection, awareness. It's um, being prepared for snowy seasons, feels like. It's someone taking stock in themselves and rejecting a message. Oof. Wow. And the message, what's around the message is the message comes about because of a secret being revealed. I mean, it's not something hidden. It's in your face. So I feel like for you, Aquarius, at this time, boy, you have some choices to make. Hmm. I can't think, I just don't see anything. <laughs> wow. I'm looking to see if there's any other messages here. So that feels like it for you, Aquarius. You've got some decisions to make. Bravery moving forward. Again, this two, these things here feel most crucial. Uh, what goes on in the home. Judgment being placed upon others that affects what decisions you make. And this is an offer from the unknown in a variety of ways. There's questioning, like, who's who's giving me that cup? Because if you look, there's, there's nobody attached to that. It's coming out of a cloud. Where'd this come from? And this affects the home. Wow. It's finding out that people that you should be able to trust, you cannot. It's getting messages or information that put one into a mode of self-defense, protection, it's learning who the haters are, who's, what is, things that are not completed, things that are half-assed, that have an effect on your money, your growth. It's um, staying grounded also at this time, okay? Also staying as grounded as you can. Aquarius. 
staying grounded because when the secrets come out, yeah, it's going to bring about fear, confusion, there'll be misunderstandings. But, you know, vision is going to be different. Um, I also see here um, anger. So we want to watch how we are raging out. Especially, I'm hearing if there are little ones that may see poor reactions in the adults. If you have young ones around here. One card for strength. For my queen. So things at this time are unpredictable. There are forced endings coming about, moving into a place of the unknown. I don't really see how that's advice. Can we get one more card? <laughs> uh. Exciting change is coming, dealing with selfish, lazy people. There's discouragement and anger without question right there. So we're getting knowledge. This again is not gonna help you very much. It's just letting you know it's coming. But what's coming here for those who want it is divine vision. And in the last of the letters, the true brave dawn. I think this includes Aquarius in being uh, brave and ready for the new world. Whatever the hell that means. Goodness gracious, y'all. I'm hearing Disney music now, okay. <laughs> Libra, what I just heard is steady wins the race. I don't know what that applies to. There you go. Steady wins the race. Guys, I thought these were going to be like love and mushy stuff. This really seems like some 007 type shit. <laughs> okay, so Libra, this, I consider a message done when all the letters go together. And there's a legit message right there. And I, I you just got to read that for yourself. I don't know what that applies to in your world, but it really feels like it has a colossal meaning. It, you know, the last two days, it really feels like my readings haven't been, like, it feels like it's an all. It all feels like a planetary collective. So, okay, maybe this applies to Libra directly. Let's move that. And pull some cards to go with that. Messages Libra from the words hide ink clue of true agency or would it be hide true hide ink clue of true agency okay let's just I'm not gonna try to reshuffle those words. Let's just hide in true agency for Libra. Okay. Alrighty then. All right, everything's upside down. So with that in mind, I'm going to write these. Oh, six, six. So someone would like for things to uh, go back to the way they were. Yeah. But at this point, 
it's it's there's not it's not a situation of recovery. Recovery isn't happening the way someone wants things to go back to, right? It's in reverse going back to a choppy water situation or being taken into another choppy water situation. These two together, though. We got a three of wands. They were in reverse, remember that? So this is about delays, things not, um, not moving forward. It's not, um, the leader isn't moving. Someone in control who has control over a situation isn't moving forward. This could, another word could be just stagnation, plans, but not in a happy, we're gonna go do something way. Three of Cups, remember that was in reverse. That is some greedy ass shit. This is conversations, like this is the mean people club. Remember that was in reverse. And in the mean people club, they silence the happiness, the abundance, the fruits, the, the good things that are bestowed to others. They party with those things. In these two, here I see action. But there's a lot of red that keeps popping to me in these two. And they were in reverse. So this is destruction and someone taking joy or a group taking joy in not moving barren lands destruction it's like they and be if you notice back behind in these images in both there are there's growth there's abundance there's fruit there's uh, flowers garden grass but at the beginning these people here aren't moving into a calmer place. They're going back to a choppy place. So this could be a situation that was un something that was really not enjoyed going back to it. Jeez. Oh boy. Okay. Now remember all these were in reverse, so I'm going to put these down. And the people who are negative, having the ne unhappy other people party, those people, um, <laughs> yeah, they got this, like, energy over them. And it's someone who is capable or has the power, the assumed power to preserve a, a action, to maintain a behavior. This is someone who um, feels like they're in a place of protection over Libra. Libra, you may be feeling like you're in a place of protection. And there is a choice. Oh. There's a choice on how to proceed in in a choppy water situation where we may be feeling like we're being drugged back into some old shit. A choice has to be made. The choice that has to be made is how to deal with these energies. And the queen is number two. And then we have a five. So we have seven. Then we have 10. Oh my goodness. Ooh, Libra. Whole cycle completion. Whole cycle completion. Wait a minute. So everything here is 19, which brings us to a 10. And this feels like a, a choice for you, Libra, whether to launch a new beginning, new projects. This is caring about yourself enough to... to Stop looking at your cups being knocked over here. It's a choice of power and control or a return to choppy waters. 
edit this time, Lily? You want to, like, this is worth considering because you're not facing in the right direction. You're looking down. So we want to make sure we're not being taken down by the wrong people. Okay? Because here, because these were all in reverse, it's almost like negative for others for the happiness of one or one entity group. This could be boss, could be work. It could be just a situation where you're feeling like you're being sold a, a big gigantic basket of poo and someone's calling it flowers. So we want to be aware of what we have left instead of staying focused on what was lost. I know it's hard to do that. And what can be lost could be simple as time, money. For some, it can be as great as losing hope. But it, oh, right. Look at the choice. There's a choice here. And there's, it's a choice to be comfortable with um, movement or the lack thereof. It's deciding what to do with people who have an issue with your change and freedoms. It's a decision to be of the self and recognize who is selfish. Because there's harm here. And now we're like recognizing who harmed us or who's bringing the noise. And we have to decide, like, how do we deal with this? It's realizing who are some of the bad people, not all the bad people in your life, but it's realizing who brings you the most stress, the most disorder and confusion, making a decision to go back to that behavior. Do we revisit this, this chaos again? Do we, revisit, do we let this happen again? Or do we make a decision for love, family, health, life, a decision for just to be happy? To feel good. And do we have to turn our back on all that was lost? And if you notice, I have a big problem with this here. Because here we have three people partying. Here we have three people going, you know, back into a situation. Then we have three cups that are spilled out. Then we have one person looking back on three people. Completion happens here. So it's a choice for family or confusion. Happiness, good times, or going back to a state of confusion. So Libra, it really feels like everything is oof, figuring out what is what and who is who, and not just talking about it, but acting on it. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, I'm going to stop staring at this because that's so interesting. Let's see if we have any words of encouragement to get Libra through from the guides. Mm. upside down too like listen Libra it really feels like you have to make some really definitive choices maybe you can't make them for the world but you must make them for yourself because right now you feel stuck you feel confined you don't feel safe you feel like you're submitting feels like submission and as these feelings are you know they're still here things feel destroyed you feel cheated 
at this time you are gaining access to higher wisdom of self but it'd be very it's very easy to get lost in that too and we can get lost in that by being frustrated irritated impatient lazy and when i say lazy it could be just letting things happen to you because if you notice here someone is moving that boat those who need to go to be transported somewhere are sitting so we could be allowing others to decide for us. Oof. And that could create irritation, a lack of patience. It can allow plenty of room for things to be destroyed. Beings being, you know, Libras being cheated, feeling cheated. Again, no result, no result. No, the card of no results comes here twice. Things not growing as planned is here twice. Care for the spirit, mind, and body while acquiring wisdom. And these are in reverse. So wisdom denied, spirit denied, mind and body denied. It's for you to decide to claim what is yours. Until then, frustration, a lack of harmony, no freedoms. Nothing gets truly dealt with. It gets juggled and moved around, floated on, looked at, partied over, spilled, wasted. But nothing is truly being dealt with. My card of pussy control is here too. Do what you will with that data. But it fucking counts. Because if we're on lockdown, there ain't no, there ain't no kitty cat to control. Moving along. So we are left feeling tired without a plan, guessing what's coming next, feeling stuck. At this time, logic is the key. Design of self is the key. Build of courage is the key. At this time, uh, in January, sorry, you will be hearing about greed, fraud, haters. You'll, okay. Those who are in control, it's to some degree, you're going to see disappearing. Some of the people who have brought bother and concern to your world, six and six. Remember, these were upside down at the beginning. So at this time, there is a great work at play for you to not love yourself or the others. Divine, the opportunity for divine vision and um, evolving is lost if if that remains the choice looking down instead of looking up making decisions mm. making decisions and sticking with them blinded by ego and failure oof alright and I, I don't want to pull this much anymore Okay, so nine is here at the bottom. Look, six comes out twice. Wow. Okay. So in this discovering of the bad, the liars are here. And the test comes for what feels like Libra, you, and the others. There is a test. Hmm. If the test is passed and certain things remain um, unacknowledged, unheard, th this is about trust. This is about trust of the unknown. This is about not knowing what's coming next. Choosing to be blocked or open to receive the unknown. On the other side of the right choice, Libra, whatever you decide, Choice is here. Choice part is here. You want to be dominated and controlled by someone who is protected. Let your cups spill out. Forget what's left and what can be done. Not looking for solutions, but just taking it. Do we choose that or this? 
family life or friends, whatever, hanging out, having a good time. Maybe it'd be more interesting to get back to life and, you know, go out on dates, maybe with someone who might have unruly children and you got to look over the shoulder like, what are they doing? <laughs> Whatever the situation is, the choice to be made is here. The current is here. The current, if not the catalyst, I don't know. But yes, there is a lot of like, Oof. Six, um, six is about healing, cooperation. Um, six is about getting your rewards if you want them. In a naughty, naughty place, though, six is the number of deception, fraud, someone being taken, secret knowledge that is used, um, against others there's creation in six but then its opposite would be what destruction six can be the number of divine vision elevated awareness but but you know if we reverse that it would be the elevator of illusion going down so you have some choices to make in january of 2021 Choices that will, that have the ability to impact uh, the controlled situation, the control from others, or the control from within one's home, life. I mean, these are big life decisions. Wow. At the bottom of the deck is test. Be aware. That is action and love, a heart, and there's an alert, there's five, five is chaos, confusion, instability, tightening up, so we, we, we need to be aware of what's coming in and how we, do we decide if we want to be a part of things or not. Mm, 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 mm. One last look at that message. Okay. Okay, Gemini, relax here. One toast. Are we celebrating something? Is that what we may be? Okay. Maybe some other words there later. Let's find out if there's anything for that. January 2020. Let me clarify. Relax here. One toast.
Okay, all right, these aren't fun either. Ultimately, though, there is completion here for Gemini. Here's this message, though. It's a message that makes me feel like someone is suggesting that, okay, if you want things to end, here's this message. Go along with it. Gemini, during January, you may be dealing with having to... Um, be cautious. You may have to deal with some greedy people coming through. Okay? And, yeah. Greedy people coming through looking to work with you on something. And I'm gonna be cautious about that, too. Because when these people show up, they're not very passionate and they're not really inspired by anything except what you have. This is all pentacles. I didn't really want to like, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Is there anything else do we have around this for Gemini? Oh, Gemini. Man. All right, I'm a Gemini too, so this isn't funny for me, shit. I'm looking like, wait a minute, so, <laughs> so it's almost like someone is aware. Let me turn these right side. So remember, these are down, these are up, this is down. Now everybody's looking in the right direction. <laughs> so what we may have in January are people who maybe didn't work well in other situations. They may be making a return because their business isn't working, or they may be coming to disrupt your work situation. And this may come through as a message in an offer first of some sort. Like, come on, we, we, you know. It feels like an energy of someone that is behaving like they're happy for you, that you're not going through the worst. And this feels like energy watching, surveilling. It feels like the energy of people talking in the background as to how to work with others in some degree or another. I'm not happy about this because it's all money. Like, okay, yeah, okay. It's like Gemini, okay, you're, there's money. You're protecting yourself. You're working with yourself. You're doing okay with yourself. But, um... It's like someone trying to work to unblock your block. Someone wanting to work in a situation where you may have said no because of the way thing, because of the lack of work that was happening in the past. It feels like someone coming back. Like <laughs> it's like if 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 you could win the lottery and and you'd been playing for a lifetime and every, and okay, not everyone, one person across the street from your home kept saying, you're never gonna win, you're never gonna win. And then you win. And then they're like, oh, I always knew you were gonna win. Yeah, come on, we're, we're, we're bros. I always said you were gonna be the one. I told all my friends, you were gonna be the best. <laughs> yeah, okay, so. We may have some, um, money obstacles you need to be aware of. And Gemini, you may not want to loan or share. So this person in, in the upright position, the four of pentacles is possessive, controlling. They don't want any fucking change. So you want to be careful because in reverse, we're not being possessive. We might be a giver might be attracting in another person who knows you'll give, and they're greedy. So it could be someone who knows you're good, and it's a, you could be just unawarely attracting greediness. I could see that. <sighs> then you got this cycle. So this is somebody who has watched, has an idea of what you're capable of, and they're making this decision on partnership. The, the thing is, this was in reverse, so, 
it's it feels like maybe partnership was once a possibility in a dream, but now Gemini is more awake and looking in the other direction, looking at the world, which happens to be in the palm of Gemini's hands. I want to be careful of that too, because at this time, if you notice when I write this card up, two is holding the world in the direction of the page. So the page has got a little but wants abundance and may come in behaving like there's abundance. But here to the two, we're on top of the world, right? And the night, oh yeah, that's three. Ten and one and zero is one. So we have three, one, and two. So this could be someone who um, didn't bring results before, might have been a little bit more um, on the destructive side before. This is somebody who you may have put the fire out on. You may have stuck a fork in that one at some point and said, nah, I'm good. You might have made an offer of um, a partnership where, you know, sharing is a certain way and it's not for the world, it's for maybe several or two or three, I don't know. But you want to be careful because the messenger sees the world in the hands of the Gemini. You want to be careful about that. Anything else? Ooh, turning point. We are looking the other way at a turning point. Line these up. Okay. So there's a decision to be made. Hmm. What do you want? This or that? Hmm. Gemini has a choice to make, but I feel like Gemini has already made that choice. It feels like the person or whatever coming in sees the move forward. They may also understand that they're blocked. The If there's other people involved in the situation, they're now looking at this being coming in on some sneaky shit about the money. They're looking at this person like, you're just being greedy. <laughs> Other people at this point have gathered greater knowledge of this greedy individual who may be coming through. It's, you know, Gemini needs to be aware of that too. Gemini, I think you're not even paying attention. I think you're just on to the next thing. It really feels just like being on to the next thing. Also being aware of the past. So it's not like moving forward without knowledge. It's moving forward with creative energy, passion, determination. Now, if we don't move past and we stay with the reverse pattern of things, what we get is destruction. What we get is a situation that brings change that is beyond Gemini's control. Wee, I see it. And that clarifies relax. Here, one toast. This feels like the energy of someone coming in on some, I need help, but I'm too egotistical to ask for it type shit. And this person may have the ability to distract enough to work against your gains, Gemini. Be careful. Any advice for Gemini? Messages of awareness for Gemini. Test. Oof. Okay, so there's, oh, there's the test in that offer. I know where that goes. That goes right here. Oof, Lord have mercy. So your guys want you to know that it's time to go for another step forward or get your next rerun on the same lesson. Choice. All about choice. So in this choice, we have a decision to express ourselves passionately. Um, we have a decision to bring in somebody who may not be the healthiest. What I feel in this situation though is also safety. Safety, safety, safety. 
Safety feels like a concern because of this situation. It, it may feel like the energy of somebody coming in who has negative motives. And it really, it just feels like somebody who can mess things up very quickly and easily. Could start with a drink or something else. Moving on. Oh my goodness. All right, so Gemini, we want to be careful with that. Quick collective for all threes of you. Good things coming for just yeah, good things coming for the air signs. see off these letters here is um, for January you may be dealing with somebody who's a little bit too egotistical and they may be too um, unprofessional childish for their age this person may want to have some interactions with you and you just you know you may not be interested in the ego that's attached to the age and the mind of someone. Could be dealing with immaturity or oof, jinx. Hi, jinx. Clarify. Yep, someone from the past. Okay, so for collectively speaking, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Feels like someone comes back from the past that you walked away from. And you walk away because you have higher knowledge now. You know better. It's like having to block someone. It's breaking a cycle. It's, it's some, oh, it's, it, again, it feels like a test. Feels like a retest. Let me be clear about that. Feels like a retest. And a retest of perhaps the puppy dog syndrome. <laughs> Is that possible? The puppy dog syndrome of the mind. And Gemini's Aquarius, Libra, maybe a little bit on the, uh, you know, fluid, airy side. Not fluid, but we're airy. We move. We get things done. Gotta move, gotta move. Yeah, 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 smell the flowers and give me my vase. Let's go, come on. And look, I got things to do, look at this. And here we have the knowledge. You may have to cut someone out. Mm. You may have to cut somebody out because they are just being cruel. And, and the truth is, they're bitter because you're not acting the way they want, that they think you should act. You're not being, ooh, I just heard you're not being grateful. Oh, is that right? Well, no, this kind of looks like it. Let's write this up. So we got our emperor here, and he should be stable. Shit should be cool, right? But instead, we're selfish. This, this right here is selfish. This energy, this emperor, he be selfish, right? I mean, we could all be emperors and we should all act right but not this one this one is this one is an evil king of sorts um wants all of the devotion but doesn't really have much to give to the situation to deserve um a certain type of treatment from the aquarius gemini or libra and the reason they're not getting that that response is um, when they had it, they goofed it off. When the potential was there, they fucked it up. 
when something was given, it had to be walked away from. Like thing, there was loss in this connection. And you know that now. Aquarius, Gemini, Leo, you know. You got that. You got all the data. You know where the secrets are. You know where the bones are buried. <laughs> the things that used to draw you in, um, whether it was sex, drugs, money, whatever, friendship, um, attraction, those things that drew you in are now the things that literally repel. Like bug spray type shit. <sighs> So we have our queen here, right? And the knowledge of the, you know, this thing over here, this this no thank you going on over here, the result of that is uh, blocking. No thanks. And it's blocking like a queen. <laughs> it's not even turning the back. That's the thing. Had it had she come out upright, I would say she's blocking from, she's like, no thanks going forward, not not even talking to you. Just back is turned. I'm good. I'm straight. Like, done. But because she comes out in reverse, this is almost like somebody who's nice enough to tell you to go fuck yourself ever so gently. <laughs> then we have the nine of cups. That's here in reverse. In reverse, there's no joy. There's no no happiness in this. And it's holding back. But it's it's refusing. Not even just it's not even just like I've got what's good. I've got what you need. It's this is wish fulfillment. This is what you want. Everything is satisfactory and sensual. Let's get it popping. It's like militant. Types, milit but good military type stuff. In reverse, in reverse, um, we're not operating from a heartless place. But others are going to feel like we're being heartless. And that's because they have no heart. It's because they're haters. It's, it's um, blocking with class and style. <laughs> Golf clap, if I do say so myself. I don't think there's anything necessary here, but we'll just go ahead with the extras for the collective. Just one. One, that's awesome. Abundance, so we are practicing self-control. I see it. All right here, though. All right here, though. Yeah, I like it. So we're getting harmony. Getting our freedom. This is pussy control. All that jazz. Mastering the self. That's what we're working on. That's coming for us. Collective Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Ooh. January of 2021 is going to be about self-control. Because you got it. But can you control it? <laughs> and be careful of who you share your abundance with. Mm -hmm. This is greedy people coming in who have lost things. And there are doubts in how to interact with you also. But that's not your fucking problem. If people don't know how to deal with you, they should go pick up a self-help book, as far as I'm concerned. So let's bring back this data. Do you mind the age of somebody who has that kind of ego? Oof. Do you mind interacting with someone of a certain age and a certain type of ego. J N X, I can only see to a lot and almost like a jinx. This can be somebody coming back for, you know, private relation stuff. I saw that too in the cards. It's a bit of a self-serving jinx. All right. What do you guys think about that? Hopefully that helped. All of you, yes, yes, yes. We'll give you something to think about. And uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out. And that is all for the collective and individually, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. My name is Sai Divine, and I appreciate your presence always. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you do not miss my lives or 
any of my uh, in-between videos. <laughs> Until next time, I wish you love, light, and divinity.